Hi friends, welcome back. Today's recipe is a very flavorful podi from South India. So many varieties of podis are made there and they are served as accompaniment with idlis, dosas, uttapams. So today's uh, podi is made with curry leaves. Now curry leaves we all know are loaded with nutrition and this is a very nice way of consuming them. If we make this podi, we can serve it as an accompaniment with idli, dosas and uh, uttapams. You mix it with little bit of hot sesame oil or ghee and serve it. You can also relish it on top of the rice, you know, you sprinkle and uh, pour little hot ghee over it. And it's so divine, it tastes very good. So let's proceed to make the curry leaf podi. Two cups of curry leaves, wash them well and dry them, spreading them on the kitchen napkin for the entire day. And chana dal, one tablespoon. Urad dal, one tablespoon. Cumin seeds, one teaspoon. Oil, two tablespoons. Methi seeds or fenugreek seeds, half teaspoon. Salt to taste. Dry red chilies, four. If you like it spicier, you can add one more. Now let's get started. Heat one tablespoon of oil in a pan. First we'll add the chana dal as it is thicker. Stir fry it. Keep stirring continuously so that it gets fried evenly. Just to get a light brown color. Halfway through you can add the urad dal. Fry them together until they change the color. Alternately, you can even add one teaspoon of oil and fry them separately also. Now goes in the fenugreek, methi seeds and the cumin seeds. Roast them little more until you get a lovely aroma. Now they have become nice golden brown. We can remove them in a plate. Next we are going to roast the dry red chilies. Stir fry them also until they become crispy. If you want it very spicy, you can add one more chili, but four chilies are sufficient for this quantity. Now remove the chilies also. Wipe the pan with a tissue. Clean it well. Again pour one tablespoon of oil for curry leaves. Dip in the curry leaves. Now these have to be roasted on medium flame continuously until they become nice and crispy. At the same time take care that they don't change the color. So keep adjusting the flame between low to medium. Keep turning them so that they get nicely crispy. You can see slowly that they are getting crispier. Just check 
little more to be done now once they are done remove them in a plate and let them cool well you should see when you break the curry leaves they should break easily that's the texture we require once they are cooled we are going to grind them coffee grinder is the best for grinding these masalas masala is ground now we will remove it in a plate while grinding you add salt also as required this is really a very flavorful masala you are surely going to love it and curry leaves are very very nutritious so we can at least consume them in this form also normally when we put them in dals we discard them now with the back of the spoon break the lumps after cooling it well transfer it into a dry and sterilized air tight container this powder can stay good for many months but i prepare a smaller quantity so that we finish it faster so make it and enjoy with your idlis dosas uttapams and also hot rice you see so you sprinkle this and pour some ghee on it and enjoy it friends do subscribe to the channel if you have not done so and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notifications here are some of the videos from the archives you might have missed them so you can watch them now